Godfather of the Voyeur's Trail. Shout out my boy, Demi TV. It's Wave God in this motherfucker. Hey, shout out my nigga, Demi T. Got song pop like I'm Iggy. All they talking about is last night like I'm Demi. Say you got it. Roofies donated $5. Damn ski pulled the Michael. Oh, I have no. Dean family, Dean Nation. Today we're doing a reality to how to survive a new from the channel to how to survive. So, what you got? And basically, why we're doing this is well, if y'all see what's going on now, finna educate y'all on how to survive a nuke. You feel me? Just in case we get nuke warnings or whatever the case may be over here in the USA or some shit may pop off because body can't hush and can't act like it be a chess player and make chess moves and get the W, you feel me? So yeah, hope all everybody is safe and well all around the world. And yeah, and sorry for people who also lost their life in all these years and years coming also and apologize, etc. Check out the Dean TV Cola merch in the description box below. And go copy some drip and heat, you feel me? And shoot. No further ado. Let's get into this reaction. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Road to 100k, 50k, a million, a billion, you feel me? Build a bubble or a dome over the country. That is that there are multiple ways it can kill you. The explosion, the heat, and the radiation can all cause damage and death. In this day and age, a nuclear device can be small enough to be concealed and carried by a single person, or it can be a missile. You can have a few minutes warning or no warning at all. The flash from the bomb can kill you by burning or vaporizing you. After that, a shockwave can crush your house or smash you with debris. Whoa. If you survive the yeah, blast, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think that's, yeah, uh, no. The only way you can survive that is you going underground. Underground, like, that's why I've been thinking of making an underground, like, bunker or some shit like that, you feel me? Like, yeah. Your first problem is radiation fallout. Fallout is radioactive soil and debris that rains down on us after the blast. Why is radiation fallout dangerous? It damages the very cells that our body is made of. Dang. Radiation is energy moving as waves or particles. And it exists everywhere around us, including in the sun, soil, and rocks. That kind of radiation is considered to be low-level radiation, and it's mm. fairly safe. Medium-level radiation causes fever, headaches, and vomiting. High levels of radiation damage your internal organs severely and can kill you. A nuclear attack is definitely in the high-level category. So, what is your first priority after the blast? Why do they got news? Well, the radiation fallout takes about 15 minutes to come down to ground level after the explosion, so in that time, you need to take cover. Step one, get inside. Brick or concrete buildings will protect you best against radiation. Okay. However, you don't have much time, so don't waste it by looking around. It's important to get inside any structure as soon as you can. Take off your clothes, they're contaminated. Stay away from the roof and the outer walls of the building. Go to the basement or the middle of the building. Step two, 
shelter in place for 24 hours. The most dangerous fallout is during the first few hours after the explosion, because the radiation is most powerful then. Keep your loved ones inside, including your pets. If your family is separated, don't try to get together for the first 24 hours. It's most important for everyone to stay inside, wherever they are. Step three, stay connected. If your cell phone, TV, and internet are all unavailable because of the attack, try battery operated or crank radios. Tune in to any media you can to find out when it's safe to exit. Hey, yo, y'all gonna, gonna have to go back to beepers, go back to battery, battery type shit. Hey, yo, Amazon, here I come. What the fuck? Because you gotta think, what if some shit do pop off like this? You ain't gotta think. These motherfuckers out here acting don't acting like they don't got no sense. Like they didn't act right, act, act right like accordingly. Like you feel me? Like adults. Like tighten up. Like dang. Like y'all won't got beef or something. Get in a boxer ring. Like and sell that shit or play a video game or some shit and sell y'all beef or some shit. What the fuck? Don't put the whole country involved. And where you should go to stay safe and to reunite with family. Countries. Step four, don't drive. The worst thing you can do is to get in your car and get stuck in gridlock along with everyone else as the fallout comes down. As always, it's best to prepare ahead of time for dangerous events. You're probably not expecting a nuclear attack, but it doesn't hurt to be prepared. Look around to identify potential shelters near your school, work, or home. Prepare an emergency supply kit and keep it in potential shelter locations. This kit should include bottled water, packaged food, medicine, and a flashlight. And buy a battery-powered or crank radio as well. A nuclear attack is devastating, and depending on its size and how close you and your loved ones are to the explosion, it could be deadly. It could also lead to ruined cities, dysfunctional societies, and sickness. Okay. However, if you're prepared ahead of time and you follow this advice, you'll improve your chances of surviving a nuclear attack. But if you're looking for something to pass the time while waiting for doomsday, you can always learn how to survive other life-threatening encounters. Do you but how long does it last? Like the fuck? He said 24 hours, but how long does it last? Like how long you got being hot and like what? You know what to do if you're attacked by a gorilla? Well, you can learn next time on how to survive. No, I don't know, but that might be interesting. If y'all want me to check it out, we will. But hope you guys like that thing you found D Nation. Like, comment, subscribe, and share the video on all social media and comment below what reaction you want to do next. See you guys next time. Love you guys. I'm out.